Don't do anything. I have a cat on my lap. All right. Welcome back to another episode, folks. Afro Senpai here. This episode today, we're going to be talking about why I left T. Rowe Price for Vanguard. I want to thank you so much for watching. So, we had... Stop, stop, stop. Alright, that video was way too laggy, so I had to shoot it again. And hopefully I'm going to make this one just more crystal clear and concise. So, reason I left uh, Vanguard. No. The reason why I left T. Rowe Price. So, after reading... Um, Money Master the Game, which is a book by Tony Robbins, and he was outlining different things that people should be doing to protect their money. And one thing he talked about was Vanguard index funds and Vanguard being a fiduciary. Our lesson for today is class, learning what a fiduciary is. A fiduciary is anybody who has to work in the best interest of you, the client, not in the best interest of the company. You're never going to be in a scenario with a fiduciary where you say something, well, I heard about this and I think I'd like to invest in that, and they're going to say, well, no, People say it's a good deal, but really it's not, and you should do this instead, which might potentially make them more money. A fiduciary cannot do that by law. And so when I learned about fiduciaries, I was like, oh my gosh, let's, let's get on board with that because I want people who are looking out for me. I didn't really Google if T. Rowe Price was a fiduciary. I opened my T. Rowe Price Roth IRA account like in 2011 or 2012 when all I knew about a Roth IRA is that you should have one because um, your retirement, money for retirement, may not be around. You just want to have an extra income. And that's what an, a Roth IRA can do for you. So I just said, well, I listened to NPR, and NPR had T. Rowe Price commercials. So I said, let's go with T. Rowe Price. After reading the book, I learned that Vanguard was a fiduciary company. That got a gold star. Then I found out that Warren Buffett has always kind of promoted Vanguard as a company that's like, if you don't know what you're doing, but you still want to invest, get a low-cost Vanguard index fund, and you'll be good to go. Uh, of An index fund that covers the entire market, and that's like the minimum that you can do for yourself, and you'll still be okay. And so I thought to myself, okay, well, that's another that's another smiley face, whatever I just said. That's another step in the right direction for Vanguard. And then also, I know that Haley's, um, Haley's parents had started a brokerage account for her. And because I do the family taxes, um, I had known about Vanguard already working with some of our money, our Haley's money, rather. And so that was like kind of step. I don't want to say strike three because these are all positives, but that was like kind of the stepping stone as um, everybody's pointing me in the direction of Vanguard. Haley's already got money in Vanguard. Let's just go with Vanguard. So I wanted to open up a Roth IRA with Vanguard, but I already had a Roth IRA with T. Rowe Price. And based off of the money that I was putting into T. Rowe Price, $200 a month for an entire year, would be $2,400. $2,400 over the span of five years should be well over uh, $10,000, especially if I'm getting great returns. Everything that I saw on my end looked like I was getting great returns, but I still only had about $12,000 in my account. So I just assumed um, that Vanguard, no, I just assumed that T. Rowe Price had a lot of different fees that I didn't know about. And I thought that that's what was eating into my money. And I didn't even like do any research 
on the funds that I picked, really, because again, all I knew is I should have a Roth IRA, and so I went on to T Row Price, and so I went on to T Row Price, and then looked at some stuff, and I just looked at charts, and I said, well, this looks good, I guess, so let's go with it. I didn't know about. I didn't know anything about expense ratios. I didn't know about administration fees. I didn't know any of that stuff. And so I'm assuming, again, I'm assuming that that's why I didn't have the money that I thought I would have after five years with T. Rowe Price. So I said, let's just transfer this Roth IRA um, over to Vanguard. One thing I do love about Vanguard is whatever fund you're looking at, it immediately tells you what your expense ratios are going to be, and it also tells you uh, with the fund that you've selected kind of what it's been doing over time. And so I feel like just like the five seconds I spent on Vanguard, it looks super transparent uh, as opposed to uh, being on T. Row Price. So Vanguard just made me feel super comfortable and I transferred over um, I transferred my money over and so I believe Yeah, you'll see you'll see the process This is like the process of how easy it is. It just took like literally a couple clicks a couple clicks on the Vanguard's website print out a recent statement from T. Rowe Price, like this is like legit my account and this is the the accounts that I want transferred over. Sending in that and um, the money was transferred within about a week or so. Because I'm trying to raise um, the $5,000 from nothing or just from a couple hundred dollars, so I could say with this transfer that I already have reached my $5,000 goal, but because I don't <laughs> because I don't want it easy like that, what I'm going to do is whatever money that I got from T. Rowe Price and put into Vanguard, whatever the difference is on the gains that I make on it um, is the only money that I will count towards my actual $5,000 goal. So what do I mean by that? Let's say I transfer over $12,000 from T. Rowe Price to Vanguard and then being in with within Vanguard and this actually happened um, I rose up about two hundred dollars within the first three weeks so I would take that two hundred dollars and add it to my five thousand dollar goal instead of saying I'm already at twelve thousand dollars so hopefully this isn't this isn't laggy at all and um, yeah, I just had to reshoot that one. So I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Um, grateful for the cool weather that we've been having in the summer. The last couple days, the sun has kind of been out doing its thing, and it needs to kind of go back to that nice 70 degree weather because that's like that's like that's like my weather. 70 degree weather, especially with this hair. Oh my gosh, it gets too hot sometimes. So I need I need a nice 70 degrees. I'm kind of a diva right now, but that's okay. Um, and then what else? Comment comment below. Do you have a Roth IRA? Who is your Roth IRA with? Do you know what your expense ratio is for your IRA? Do you monitor the gains that your IRA is doing? Who's monitoring your IRA? Is it you that you're supposed to take care of everything? Or do you have like a fund manager who's doing everything? You know, things that, things that happen in life that you don't really, you know, nobody guides. There's no guide to this in life. Okay, so that's kind of why I'm documenting everything, writing everything down, making books books dropping soon watch out for that um, but again you guys have a beautiful day and remember to smile because you are beautiful